chapter 1 magnetism now people have for thousands of years known about the magnetic properties of certain types of naturally occurring materials such as lodestone which is a form of iron called magnetite and have long utilized this phenomenon for navigation in the form of a compass and that is because magnets when suspended freely settle facing the north south direction in this chapter we want to understand more about magnets and magnetism so we begin with properties of magnets and let's start with magnetic poles when a magnet is placed in a pool of iron nails the nails get attracted and cling onto the magnet it is noticed that a lot of nails cling at the ends of the bar magnet indicating that the attraction force is strongest here these ends of a magnet are called its poles one end is the north pole and the other is the south pole directional property a bar magnet is suspended freely on a stand using a thread and allowed to come to rest it is observed that the magnet aligns itself in the north-south direction We bring the south pole of another magnet near the south pole of the freely suspended magnet. The south pole of the suspended magnet moves away. This is repulsion. When a north pole of another magnet is brought close to that of the suspended magnet, repulsion occurs. This means that like poles of magnets repel each other. How about unlike poles? We bring a north pole near the south pole of the suspended magnet. The poles attract each other. When a south pole is brought near the north pole of the suspended magnet, the poles attract each other as well. This means unlike poles attract each other. This is the basic law of magnetism. Unlike poles attract, like poles repel one another.